Welcome back to another episode. My name is Darren Cabral, and I'm the CEO here at Suit Social. We're a digital marketing company that helps businesses build their brand, generate more leads, and make more sales online. Today, we're talking about seasonal businesses or businesses that operate in kind of a seasonal industry. So what does that mean? It means you can't really sell at your prime all year round. You have slow times, you have busy times. Think, for example, like a golf course in Canada. I mean, they're not doing anything in the winter, right? Golf course, you're shut down. There's not a whole lot you can sell. No one's really playing. You can do some novelty events here and there, but it's not not really your peak season, right? The same thing for like garden centers. Garden centers are something that they have that brief window in the spring, everyone's buying all their flowers, all their plants, and then by the fall, they're shutting down and it's kind of came over for the winter. When you have a seasonal industry, it poses kind of an advertising challenge because people often make a mistake of only advertising in the on season or not at all. Because what'll happen is, because they're only open for a brief window, they're so busy anyway, they make the mistake of, well, I don't need advertising. I only have two months anyway, we're always rammed, what's the point? Or they advertise leading up to their peak season and then as soon as things start getting rolling and they get closer to the end of that peak, they just stop and they wait until the start next year. Well, both of those things are, I think, really big mistakes. And I'll tell you why. You're missing out on a ton of opportunity to connect with customers and build that brand in the off season to generate better quality of customers, higher spending customers coming in during your peak season. So what I mean by that is this, I'll kind of lead with an example. If you're a golf course, let's say, obviously in the peak season, you're selling, let's say you're public, you're selling you know, just tee times. People are coming in, it's, it's pay to play, they're coming in, they're doing a round, or they're paying for the driving range, or they're coming into the restaurant. That's great, that's apparent. In the winter, what do you sell? I'm not proposing you create new winter activities. What you sell in the winter is next year. Pre-sell the year after and the year after that. You can pre-sell up to two years ahead because what this does for you is it actually gives you some certainty and predictability in your business. It also gives you more control. What'll happen is if you don't pre-plan and that peak, what's supposed to be your peak season comes up, and you don't have the demand you think you're gonna have, you know what you start doing? You end up start discounting. You're discounting everything anyway, and you're paying to get sales in. When you start pre-selling in the winter, you can do value add stuff, still charge a premium, because you're not panicking. You're not rushing to sell. You don't need everyone to buy at your golf course for next year. If you start selling in December, you can put a promotion out there that's a value add, that's a high ticket package, something that you're like, let's just try it out. Sell four, five, six, seven of those high-end packages, and great, move on. You have an opportunity to basically sell whatever you want without the pressure, and who's thinking about stuff? I mean, if you're a golfer all winter, you're thinking about that season open, right? You're going through the whole winter like, I can't wait to get out of the green. I can't wait till open. So that's the time that they're most hype and that kind of blood is warm and they wanna put that money out. And sometimes just buying that package for next year already is enough excitement to encourage them to say, I'm, you know, I'm pumped, I'll put down whatever money. Of course, sometimes we're looking for a discount, but it can also be value add. And that's always my approach. I don't like doing discounts. I like doing value add. Sell them something bigger and better than you otherwise would have had a chance to do because worst case it doesn't sell and you're in the same position anyway. But if it does sell, it's all this extra profit, all this extra revenue. And by the time your peak season comes, you feel at ease. You already know you've sold what you need to sell. You have you know half your revenue sold and you can just focus on running the best possible operation. The same exact thing goes with like garden centers, right? Use the off season to promote your products, promote packages, promote things that you otherwise don't have time to do in the peak season because you have this whole off season where none of your competitors are advertising and you have all the customers just to yourself to sell whatever you want. Get creative, do big value adds, do bundles, do packages, do experiences, pre-sell stuff that whole off season. And then it's, it's great because you have months and months and months to prep for it, to get that product ready, especially now with supply chain issues, you can pre-sell these like, let's say your garden center, like some sort of package or pre-done like value value add bundle, and then you have three, four, five months to worry about getting product in and getting things together, and you're not in that last minute time crunch. So that's one of the ways that seasonal businesses can really make the most of digital advertising and advertise in their off season. Come with those creative offers, push things for next year, pre-sale, bundles, value add, all that fun stuff. If you want to learn more about how you can do that, you can always check us out at www.suitsocial.com, book a free strategy call, and we'll be happy to share some actual examples of what we've done with uh, seasonal businesses as our clients, golf clubs, garden centers, and that kind of thing, and how you can apply the same sorts of strategies in your business. And of course, if you like this video, you found it valuable, or maybe you know somebody that would find it valuable, they're in a seasonal business, be sure to share this with them, send it over, have them watch it, or drop a comment below if you think I'm hitting this on point, or maybe I'm missing the whole thing and you have a better idea, drop it below, I wanna hear it. Subscribe, turn on notifications, and we will see you next Friday.